And as a Confederate, you may not have got, been issued a uniform, but you got what you were wearing. So this would be like a regular uh, citizen's clothing, and then you would wear that as your uniform, or you got something like this. And then I have my felt buckle that says CS. Okay. Or you might have seen CSA. The Confederate States or Confederate States of America. Okay, okay. And the Confederate uniform then, is a mixture of cotton and wool together. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this was um, jean wool. Yeah. Uh, that's considered jean wool. Mm -hmm. Versus your regular wool nowadays, which is 100% wool. And where most people know of merino wool, not jean wool. Okay. Jean wool is, or it could also be like this, where it's not as processed as the wool is nowadays. So like on this, you can see uh, little specks of actually um, parts of the plant in it. Okay. Uh, more like it's brown. That's actually mm -hmm. part of the stalk. It's not processed. It's just left in. Mm -hmm. So right, the machinery back then wouldn't have processed it quite as well as this is still machine made. Currently. This was still machine made, not handmade. This hand would made. still be machine made. Still would be yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like a machine still. Wove everything. Mm -hmm. All right, the machines back then weren't quite as precise yeah. as some of the stuff they have now. Yeah. The style of weaving wasn't the same back then as it mm -hmm. is now. Yeah. Um, then the hat would have been either something given to me when I joined, or I picked it up on the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, this one, it, the guy that gave me it, um, he used to be. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the cannon crew, so it would have had a cannon here, mm -hmm. and then his two patches, and then this is a primer picker that's left on, mm -hmm. and supposedly I think they'd have one here and then one here to hold this side back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this would be your unit number. Mm -hmm. uh, I've just left it, but I'm with the 40, uh, 42nd cavalry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Headed by um, oh, uh, Captain John, and John Colonel Mosby. Mm. And what are all these? Like these uh, carry these are what? Your water. Yeah, he, water, he just he just came and filled jugs. those for everybody well, else. Used to be your canteens. Okay, canteens. So okay. this one will be just tin. Um, they may have had just a straight wood one. Um, some of the Union might have been issued something like this, where it's either. Uh, well, back then it would probably been more. It would have been, been tin. Uh, the pewter spell. So these are all. F oh, he's so carrying many. water like, for so like many. This one. Yeah. Because what would have happened, see, is so whenever the, an army stopped, somebody would have to get water for everybody. Yeah. And so, so someone everyone. like him would go and fill canteens for several soldiers and bring them So back. a regular soldier would do it. It's not like a water carrier. No, so no. like your, your low end totem pole, your. Yeah, your Privates, okay, and your corporal, uh, yeah. first sergeant, second yeah. sergeant. Yeah, um, that's about what I know. There's more than that. Okay. So you are also using uh, this. Uh, this is just a teapot. This is. I don't know as though they top. would have something like that. Maybe yeah, it would be a similar style, maybe but not that, the same but that construction. Would have, that would have been for like a company level mess. You know, a, yeah. a company would have one coffee pot for everybody. Mm -hmm. Most the common soldier so many times would have yeah. just a tin cup. And mm -hmm. would, would make their coffee in the fire with their tin cup. In that yeah. cup. Yeah. In the cup. Yep. So your oh. cup would be your your so plate, your spoon, your cup, and everything would be inside that. And then you oh. would use that for everything. Oh. <laughs> so you might have a small tin plate and that cup. That was everything you had. So your cup was your your coffee in the morning or your soup in the afternoon, and then your plate was whatever. everything in there. Everything in that. Yeah. Yep. And this so, this is like a percolative. This this like a no, so I don't I don't think so. But that's the nice. yeah. Oh. Like a okay, this is. But then some guys have stuff that all your fork and everything fits in it. Okay. Or uh, like you're talking about a percolator, your small little baby mm -hmm. coffee maker could be in there. Okay, okay. So you have a small teapot. So this you just heat on the fire. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this actually we have a tripod that it hangs mm -hmm. on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can set the tripod over the fire so that the teapot's right over the top. How old are these uh, water thing? These? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, this one's over 30 years old. Uh, I don't know about these ones. 
some of them are mine. These are like, this is like what you can get right now. So like if you went over to one of the okay. shops, this is what they have. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, more of the union would have had this. Mm -hmm. as far so as these are called canteen. Canteens. Yeah, canteens. Canteens. We call canteen like the mm -hmm. 